JFO, garbage, garbage, don't buy it. Fila, nope, garbage, don't buy it. Hawk, <sighs> garbage, don't buy it. What's up and welcome to Spicy Gym Talk. You are here with Eric Wallin and today we're gonna to answer that question, why should you buy cheap boxing gloves? Because there is a place, a time and place for cheap boxing gloves. But for good serious fighters, probably not. So I wanna go through a couple of cheap gloves that I feel like are pretty good and then gloves that are like, I don't think are pretty good at all. So here we go, check this glove out. JFO, garbage. As far as I'm concerned, I don't care. Don't buy them. Um, someone might say, hey, I've had them, they're great. You don't train hard enough because the guys that I've sold those gloves to that do train hard, they blow through those gloves in like a couple weeks. So Eric, why do you have it on your shelf? Because I didn't know any better. I bought it, I put it on my shelf, and now I'm stuck with it. So maybe someone will buy it, maybe they'll give it to some kids, whatever, I don't know. Let's go with this glove right here. Bad boxy. If I pronounce these names wrong, sorry, I don't know. Um, garbage. Don't buy it. Let's go through some more gloves here. I'm going to start with the ones that I don't like so much. Hawk. <sighs> garbage. Don't buy it. <clears throat> Fila. In my mind, because I didn't, I mean, growing up in the 90s, Fila was kind of cool. Cool kids always had the feel of hoodies and even pants and hats and stuff on. And I was like, oh, they might make a decent glove. Nope, garbage, don't buy it. So, those are the gloves that I would say, just don't buy them. Like, they're cheap, and every glove here is less than $50. Some of them a lot less than $50, but like, it's still not worth your money. Um, there are some gloves. I've done a review on these ones. We don't need to spend a lot of time on it because I did a whole video on this glove, Cheer Wing. This is a great glove. Um, at less than 50 bucks, you're gonna get your money out of this glove. They got black, they got blue, they got red. This is an awesome glove. If you're considering a cheap glove, buy this one. The whole point of this video, oh, let me go to this one real quick for a second. Um, this Pro Impact. So here's the thing, they have two models in this glove. They have the one that's not leather and the one that is leather. From the looks of it, it looks like the leather versus the no leather, it's almost the exact same glove. It's just one synthetic and one is real genuine leather. Um, the real genuine leather glove looks like a really nice glove. That one gets over $50. This one comes in just under $50 or about 50 bucks. Um, so at $50, it's more expensive than a lot of the gloves that I've, that I've pointed out already. But honestly, 50 bucks for a pair of gloves is not bad. This one, I don't know a lot about it, but as I feel it, as I put it on, as I, as I ask myself, like, is this one worthwhile? I feel like this one, good Velcro, good support throughout the wrist. The material feels strong. Leather doesn't, it does not make or break a glove. If this synthetic plastic, which feels like good, strong synthetic plastic, holds up, there's really no reason I wouldn't buy this glove. Like I say, I'm kind of new to this glove, but as I put it on, I'm like, dude, this is a glove that I think I'm gonna buy again and keep this glove stocked on my shelf. The ones that I pointed out called garbage, I'll, I'll never buy those gloves again, put them on my shelves again. So this one right here, good wrist support. Uh, it's more of a Muay Thai glove. If you ask me, it feels like a Muay Thai glove. So this one, honestly guys, I can't say with real confidence that this is an amazing glove, but if you're thinking about this glove, I would say like, I don't know. I, I don't think it's a bad glove at all. I think you'd be fine to get this Pro Impact glove. Uh, I do think the leather one would be a little bit nicer personally if I had to pick between the two of them. Okay, the real reason for this video is I've had some comments about and questions about these two gloves. Let's get to this one first. This one, Ziti, Z-T-T-Y is what the guy asked about. And I've never seen or heard of this glove before. I, I order it and it's they give me a Zenujitu. I don't know how to say it. You guys might be making fun of me laughing about that, but this is the glove that they sent me. Now, they did not have a 16 ounce option. Not crazy about that. I recommend to most males 
over the age of 16, just buy and use 16 ounce gloves. There is a time and a place for 14, 12 ounce gloves, stuff like that. I like to just get everybody on 16 ounce gloves personally. As I put this glove on, it doesn't feel bad. If my eyes were closed, I would probably rate this glove pretty high. But then I open my eyes and I realize that it's covered in cheap plastic that, that feels like it's gonna wear out. But the thing about this glove, it feels better for sure. This plastic on the outside is cheap and I'm just positive, I don't know for sure, I haven't cut this glove open, but I'm just positive the inside's garbage. It's just my intuition is telling me that this thing's gonna break apart fast. Same with this other one. So, hopefully that, hopefully that answers your question. Now let's go to the RDX real quick. Now RDX, this glove's coming in at 55 and this is the RDX S4, RDX S4 at $55. So this is a little bit more expensive than the other ones, but as you put this glove on, this is a phenomenal glove. Very comfortable on the inside. Very soft, very cushy. It feels like my hand's riding on pillows in there, uh, riding on clouds. And I do know a guy that had this glove for, I think over a year and was able to put a lot of wear and tear on this glove. So this is not a bad option at all. If you're considering a cheap glove, just over $55, I think you're getting a lot of bang for your buck on this glove at 55. So some might, one might say like, well, this other glove here, the RDX F4 is only $35, Eric, what do you think? I know why it's only $35. It feels way cheaper than the S4. The F4 feels way cheaper than the S4. Personally, spend the extra $20. I think it's gonna pay off in the long run. I just feel like that glove has a lot more quality to it than this glove. Can I exactly explain it? Because they look really close to exactly the same. So why is this glove so much cheaper, why do I say it feels cheaper? The plastic, leather, synthetic, fake leather they put on the top, it just feels super cheap. Um, the inside is not soft, cushy, or nice at all. So I, I would just be willing to bet that this synthetic leather is just gonna start falling apart. Now, let's say you're on a budget, you have to buy a cheap glove at less than 50. If you can stretch your budget to this glove at 55, do it. If you have to stay under 50, this cheer wing, I highly recommend you just buy this cheer wing. If you have to stay under 50. This $35 glove, I feel like people might feel like they're getting ahead of the game. Like, oh, I'm getting a really good glove at 35 bucks. My intuition just says it's not that great of a glove at $35. Back to this glove which is the Pro Impact. Once again, I'm given some kind of information where I don't really know a lot about these gloves because I honestly don't. But as I grab them, as I hold them, as I feel them, as I think about my experience, as I press on that pad, in my mind I'm like, no, this one feels like a really nice glove. So this is right at that $50 range. Um, if you can afford it, I would say just get it. So. These ones I like a lot. This one I like, not so much. And the other ones, I don't even wanna talk about them again. They're basically garbage. Hopefully, I gave you guys some good information. Uh, where, where should these cheap gloves be used? Um, these gloves, I've had fighters with fights coming up go through a couple, multiple fight camps on both these gloves and they held up fine. So high level guys can use these gloves uh, for safety purposes. I would always recommend go with something a little bit nicer. On my channel, people have said a lot about lace-ups. Look guys, I like lace-ups. I respect lace-ups. There's definitely time and place for lace-ups. And for high level, big impact sparring, um, absolutely lace-ups. But if you're, I say this a lot invest in yourself right and i'm not saying go waste money 
but like investing yourself. If you're going to take boxing seriously, boxing will only pay you back if you're investing in yourself. And I'm not even talking about like <coughs> becoming a pro fighter and being like, oh, I'm going to invest in myself and make millions as a pro fighter. No, I'm saying like, let's just say you're doing boxing for cardio. Like invest in yourself. Buy good gloves. Have good equipment and let cardio boxing be something that you do regularly and you're not frustrated because your gloves are always falling apart and you're always got bad, ugly, stinky equipment. Invest in yourself. Buy good stuff and enjoy boxing. If you're going to box for cardio, box for fitness, like invest in yourself. Buy some good stuff. Enjoy the process. Treat yourself to some good gloves. Even if you're buying them off Amazon. I don't care. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hopefully I was able to answer some questions, some comments some people have had. If you can afford it, buy some good stuff. Um, and I also will say, you don't need to spend crazy amounts of money on gloves. Personally, this is not really necessary. But I like the $100 range. I think at $100 you can get some really good gloves. Personally, I hang out in the... 160 to 200 dollar range is where most of my gloves come in and like i say i like to treat myself i could have any glove i wanted not because i'm rich but because i deal with will and deal with gloves all the time if i wanted these winnings i could have them but i don't feel like i need them anyway uh don't forget to like and subscribe questions comments concerns leave them in the comments and we'll talk to you later